Boys and girls, the online registration already opened on 27 May, closes on 16 June. So it's a very good opportunity for those of you who are basically aspiring for taking up their career in PSUs, public sector units. Very good pay scale, I would say, if you get selected, the basic pay is level 10, rupees 56,200 basic. In addition to that, you have allowances of DA, HRA, TA and PS Medical, lot of benefits. Hi, this is Dr. Khalil Khan welcoming you to GFG platform. Boys and girls, those who are basically pursuing or uh, completed B, B Tech in electronics, mechanical and computer science, there is a very good news for you that ISRO is basically as, uh, has released advertisement for recruitment at scientists uh, in their uh, organization. So it's a very good opportunity for those of you who are basically aspiring for taking up their career in PSUs, public sector units. So in this video, we are going to basically start, look into how to start the preparation and we are going to look into the details like what is the cutoff, syllabus, exam pattern and general lifestyle at ISRO. Okay? So I'm very sure this video is going to provide you the necessary inputs for preparing for ISRO uh, scientist uh, examination. So first of all, what is uh, uh, about the ISRO, ISRO scientist and uh, engineer recruitment process? So ISRO, as you know, is under the Department of Space Government of India, conducts uh, research and development in space applications, science and technology. Okay. And uh, the current recruitment is for scientists or engineer SC group level A and I mean uh, group A and level 10 in the domain of electronics, mechanical and computer science. Selected candidates will be basically responsible for contributing to the advancements in the uh, domains of design, development and testing in aerospace projects. Okay? So that's a very covetous job and a very uh, ambitious job. So for those of you who are definitely aspiring for building up their career in uh, uh, PSUs, this is a golden opportunity. Okay? So first we look into the eligibility criteria and uh, qualifications is, as I said just now, any BEB tech. Equivalent in the relevant discipline with at most 65% or at least 65% marks and the streams of electronics and communication, mechanical engineering and computer science engineering, then that is the code. And uh, boys and girls, the age limit is uh, maximum 28 years as on 16 June 2025. And there is a relaxation as per government rules for uh, government rules for central government employees, ex-servicemen, PWD, etc. How to apply? You have to go to online portal of ISRO which is uh, uh, www.isro.gov.in and click the advertisement ICRB 2025 and then you have to click the hyperlink, click here to apply. Boys and girls, the online registration already opened on 27 May, closes on 16 June. The last date for a payment for fee is 18 June, please keep that in mind. Last date is 18 June. So if you are watching the video today and uh, basically you should do it uh, now itself. The application fee is rupees 250 non-refundable plus processing fee of 750 and women SCST, PWBD, ex-servicemen get full refund of 750 on appearing of, uh, of the exams. Others get 500 refund, okay, payment via online mode, Bharat Kosh portal and uh, make sure that you are using the correct details for refund, okay. Now coming to the exam pattern, so essentially the, there are total 95 questions. 100 marks and the duration of the exam is 2 hours, okay. And uh, part A has technical uh, component of 80 marks and that uh, basically has 1 mark 80 questions with 1 third negative marking. Please keep that point in mind, there is a negative marking for uh, 1 third. And uh, part B basically constitute aptitude, ability test and uh, that is for 20 marks and uh, 4 by 3 mark 15 questions no negative marking for aptitude and uh, general ability. In the technical question, in technical part A, essentially, questions in part A will cover core topics of the chosen discipline like electronics and communication, subjects like circuits, signals and uh, control systems, etc., communications. And for mechanical engineering, primarily the important subjects like thermodynamics, mechanics, etc. And boys and girls, you should also make sure, you should also look at the number of vacancies in uh, electronics and communication 113, number of vacancies in mechanical super duper 160 and computer science even though reasonable 44, but still uh, it's a good number I would say as far as computer science is concerned. And let's have a look at the syllabus briefly with regard to CSE first. We have all core subjects starting with digital, 
C programming, data structures, theory of computation, compiler design, DBM and COI, discrete maths, operating system, algorithm, aptitude and maths. Okay. Then we have additional subjects like networks, right? Software engineering, machine learning, web technologies, cloud computing, cyber security and big data. So as such, all the core disciplines of computer science are basically tested in this uh, examination. Coming to mechanical engineering, we have me uh, engineering uh, uh, mechanics, strength of material, theory of machine, thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, heat transfer, manufacturing engineering, and uh, industrial engineering. The syllabus of PC, network theory, I mean here the number of questions are also given, signals and systems, analog circuit, digital circuits, control systems, and VLSI, EMT, uh, communication systems, aptitude, microwave engineering, electronics, measurements and instrumentation, power electronics, and electrical machines, VHDL mathematics, okay? And part B aptitude or ability test, one uh, numerical reasoning, number two logical reasoning, diagrammatic uh, reasoning, abstract reasoning. So these are the topics which you have to essentially prepare uh, for, for, for uh, ability and aptitude, all right? Qualification criteria, this is also an important aspect. Unreserved candidates, 50% each in part A and part B. You have to score that. And interview is 50 out of 100. That is the qualification. Aggregate 60% qualification. And reserved candidates only if a post is reserved. 40% each in part A and part B. That is the consolence given to reservations. And uh, <coughs> for interview for 40 by 100, therefore overall aggregate is 50%. However, if there is a tie or conflict, if total marks tie, prioritize, prioritization is based on higher attend test marks or then higher marks in essential qualification or older date of birth. In that order, we are going to resolve the tie. What is the selection process? Step one is written test. Step two is interview. Shortlisting uh, one to five, minimum 10 candidates you can see. And now step three is interview evaluation where they are going to look into your technical knowledge, general awareness, presentation, communication skills, comprehension, academic achievements. So the marks is also given there. And finally, the panel generation, 50% return, 50% interview weightage is given. And finally, as I said earlier, tie among the candidates is resolved by means of higher return marks, higher marks in qualification, and then older age. In this order, the ties are broken among the candidates. Boys and girls notification for the last year, basically. This is the so last year analysis. Notification was released uh, in May 20, May 20, uh, 25, 2023. Last date was June 16. Exam date was in January, interview month was in July, August, final results was out, out on January 2025. This was last year, so essentially you can follow on similar lines for 2026, 2026, okay, this current year. 2024 cutoffs also you can see electronics, it was 97 marks, cutoff was, um, that is the maximum and uh, uh, total marks was 97, cutoff was 49.04. For mechanical, total marks 99, 58.36. Computer science, it was 94 and uh, cutoff was 54.71, okay? And the candidates who have secured the minimum score or above as mentioned in the table are only considered for shortlisting for interview. You are required to score 50% to be considered under the shortlisting in both aptitude and technical. And for computer science, uh, final score out of 100, that means after interview process per, per, per For computer science, it was uh, 61.88. And for mechanical, 62.22 and electronics, it is 60.38. So these are late data of last student interview score who got selected. And uh, we have a very, uh, very good pay scale, I would say, if you get selected, the basic pay is level 10, rupees 56,200 basic. In addition to that, you have allowances of DA, HRA, TA and PS medical, a lot of benefits. Posting, eligible for assignment or transfer to any ISRO center or unit. That is very obvious. So boys and girls, this is uh, the batch planner that we are basically offering at GFG. So those of you who are interested, please enroll and get the benefit out of it. We have prepared a detailed plan as you see. The batch start date is 18 June. Make a note of it. Expected end date around 13th October. Dates may shift slightly to ensure that there is no missing in any topics, even it takes a couple of extra hours. We are committed at GFG, right, to cover everything thoroughly, comprehensively. So boys and girls, this is, these are the subjects, these are the number of hours planned, and these, these are the dates, right, tentative dates, like that for all other subjects. So we are starting basically 
uh, on, on 18 June with the subject of digital electronics followed by machine learning followed by computer networks and other subjects as you see. Okay. So, this is a batch planner for uh, EC you know, on same line starting on 18 June, right, with detailed electronics followed by other subjects. So, final batch price is 5999 after uh, a lot of deliberations and uh, uh, discussions. So, my honest appeal is make use of this opportunity and try to enroll and crack ISRO for your own benefit, okay. So, you can join GFG for this batch at this final price of uh, 5999. In addition to that, we are also having test series for ISRO <laughs> starting from May 30, okay. And uh, these are the details with regard to the test series of ISRO. As you can see here, we have topic wise test, subject wise test, multi subject test, full length subject. So, this test, test series I am very sure is going to provide you uh, enough practice and build a lot of confidence in you to face the exam, okay. So, number of tests are also given, number of questions are given, duration is given, everything is there. So, as such, we are going to provide a very comprehensive package for the students that will enable, right, to supplement their knowledge and make a good comprehensive preparation to face the exam. So, test series for uh, format, these, uh, I mean, uh, in addition to that, we have GATE DA test series, GATE CSIT test series. So, these are the details of the GATE DA test series and uh, the price of test series for ISRO and, and GATE is basically 9999. So, if you have not enrolled, please uh, you can enroll and take a benefit out of this. Thank you so much and I am very sure this video has given you necessary inputs for ISRO recruitment scientists. Okay. Thank you. Take care.